So chances are, if I've ever expressed love for you, it's still there. You're gonna hear the air in the background because it's hot and it's still the summer. So if you hear that, just don't worry about it. I, I'm not turning it off. Um, hi, hello. So last video was heavy if I decided to post it. Well, not really heavy. It was more like an expression of euphoria and in relationship with like kind of like mental health and dysphoria kind of thing. But, and there's like something cute in there that I had to like add a little disclaimer about. <laughs> Which led me to making this video now. So, dating sucks. Dating especially sucks when you're trans. So a little disclaimer, I'm basically a child. <laughs> I just now am able to legally drink, so I have minimal experience and this is just things I've picked up based off of observation and my own experiences. So there seems to be this overall feeling that because you're trans and because there's so many people in this world who are hateful of trans people, who are disgusted by the concept of dating a trans person, that it makes you feel unlovable. It makes you feel undesirable, that you should have second thoughts on transitioning, that you're never going to find someone, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Or even just like finding someone who's only interested in your body, not even like an actual relationship with you, that's another thing. Okay, so first of all, someone, if you're dating like pre-transition like I am, I think that it's important to know that there will be people who only like you the way that you are now. And that sucks to hear because there's plenty of situations where you like don't see yourself in the mirror and you try to communicate to that person, hey, I know I look like this, but this isn't going to be the end result. And even with trying to communicate that, sometimes it's just not received. And that's not your fault. So even just initiating dating someone, it's important to know that there are people who are chasers, which is pretty much just someone who only wants to date trans people or has like a preference for trans people and that's only because of how they view their bodies and not because they actually want to be in a relationship with them. It's just basically a, I, I don't know if I can actually put the word here, but basically this. So then there's the possibility, should I just be stealth? Should I not disclose that I'm trans and just go through the relationship as it is? And, and being stealth is an option for some people, but for me personally, I don't think I'd be able to do that because first of all, I still look pretty feminine. I don't really think that <laughs> the first time somebody sees me, I, they would think that it, I'm trans mask or a dude or non-binary i don't think they would think about any of those things so first of all it's the concept of being addressed the right way for me and then there's also the future that i have to think about because i'm not intending to look like this for the entirety of my life having to work my ankle just popped there's also the need to worry about your safety because there are people who would think that they're tricked or forced into something just because they don't know that you're trans and that can lead to violence really quickly. There are people who have been killed because of it. There are people who have been stalked and assaulted and it's not a good situation. So it's dangerous for trans people to even go into the dating scene. So it sucks when you find somebody who you connect with and then you have to disclose that you're trans or you have to talk about your plans transitioning and then all of a sudden it's just like, oh, I don't like you anymore. That is heartbreaking. That is making you question if they even loved you in the first place or if they just loved how you looked or whatever emotional validation that you gave them. It makes you question everything because if someone can't love you entirely, then it's hard to believe that they loved you at all. Another thing about um, having to think about being stealth or not, or also just 
the concept of dating in general, you have to know that there's still people that are in the closet about their sexuality and sometimes they will use how you look to their advantage. And what I mean by that is, imagine that I'm I'm dating a straight guy and he sees me as a woman, but I disclose to him that I'm trans and he says, oh, well, that's fine, but is still telling his family that I'm his girlfriend or that, you know, just like using feminine terms for me outside of our relationship, but still seemingly okay with it. Obviously, if someone says that they're just like bi-curious and they haven't been with a trans person before and like trying to make you feel special with that kind of language unless you're just like wanting to explore options just run (laughs) also i wouldn't even recommend doing that even if you just wanted to explore because practically all the time it's going to be someone who just wants to experiment and they're just gonna use you or they could be like in a period in their life where they're confused and that they're trying to figure themselves out so that they use a relationship with you to try to figure that out if you don't want to go through all that run (laughs) and this can also go for like if um they haven't been in a relationship like say that you're a trans woman and they haven't been in relationships with women that is questionable but this isn't to say that you have to date someone to show that you are attracted to them this is just to say if someone had only dated men in the past and now wants to date a trans woman, that's kind of questionable. That doesn't mean that they don't love you. There's different kinds of circumstances. I'm just saying that could be a red flag. All of my advice is circumstantial. I'm not saying that this will happen to you. I'm not saying that all of this is set in stone. I'm just talking. I'm, I'm just talking. <laughs> okay, some red flag slash my dating pet peeves if they tell you that they're not good enough for you and usually saying this like out of nowhere then it's true they're not good enough for you and they're either insecure or they just don't want to like put in the work in order to be better for you or they know that they've done stuff in the past and will probably do it again um being distant especially after opening up because this can just be like someone afraid of being close and then they just distance themselves and just leave as a coping mechanism and this is the biggest thing that irritates me and that's leaving someone breaking up with someone because you're afraid of getting too close with them that is the stupidest reason the stupidest reason to break up with someone i think if you're afraid to get close to someone don't don't start dating (laughs) just like hook up with people or just be by yourself and figure your stuff out like another red flag would be someone only complimenting you over your physical appearance um obviously that just means they're only into how you look enough said um fear if you have like a fear of them leaving you a fear of growing apart a fear of you doing something and you don't talk about that, that is going to make things worse. Fear leads to a lack of communication, and that leads to bigger issues. Everybody says this all the time, and it's completely true. Communication is the most solid thing in a relationship, and that's how you figure out how to love someone, how to show your love for someone, because there are some people who have certain love languages they have certain traumas that makes them not want to do certain things to express love so communicating problems as they come up communicating problems that you're still working through or issues that you have or things that you're healing from is important because otherwise they will come back up and they will be worse it would make so many situations be over so quickly if people were just honest about their thoughts and feelings and it doesn't even have to be communicating about something bad it could be just saying oh i like this thing about you and i think we should do it more clinginess is a problem if you want to spend like every waking moment with this person but telling someone that you love them touching giving gifts saying hey this thing reminded me of you is not clingy like i've been so afraid to express my feelings for people even if it's just platonic 
because I've been received as doing too much even if the other person is feeling the same way and it's just like why are people so scared of love of caring for other people like take away rejection take away the whole concept of thinking you're not going to be received the same way like expressing your love for someone is not scary if you take all that away just we literally <laughs> we literally live on a speck floating through space we are minuscule dots in an infinite universe and we're scared of saying that we're attracted to someone because we might get our feelings hurt and yeah i get that because i i feel deeply and that's that hurts it hurts a lot but i'd much rather tell someone that they mean everything to me they mean so much to me instead of just saying oh yeah we're cool I just think that's so stupid, playing games and putting on these masks in order to save face. I think it's stupid. I think it's really stupid. And I think life would be so much better if people just like figured out how they felt and expressed it. Even after you've broken up with someone, even after going through all this pain and stuff, like going back and saying everything that you weren't able to say could be a good thing again it depends on your situation but that's all i'm saying like me personally i like if someone wants to talk to me every day there i said it if someone else thinks that's clingy then i'm not for you <laughs> and of course like there's gonna be times where you want space and that's good like i want space from people that i love communication yet again so chances are if i've ever expressed love for you it's still there even if you've hurt me which is sad to say <laughs> because i'm the kind of person who if you hurt me i'm going to be distant for a bit just so i can figure out how i feel about it but at the same time there's still going to be a door open what's that word um getting closure for everything and even after getting closure, there's still like unresolved feelings that I feel like needs to be expressed or misconceptions that need to be fixed up or just smoothing things out. I still have a door open if you ever wanted to just chill and talk. Cool. Okay. So something else that I think is hard, especially since, you know, we're still in a pandemic, the fact that there's still long-term relationship issues or wanting a long-term relationship and that could be long distance it could be just being touch starved and just wanting to be involved in like hookup culture which is fine for everyone else i personally am not about that but it's important to know like what kind of relationship that you want and be able to communicate that with the other person so that there aren't going to be any miscommunication issues going back to communication um situations with breaking up with going separate ways it has i feel like it has to be whenever you're like at your wit's end like breaking up should be when you've already tried to fix an issue and it's just not working or if like something bad enough happened so an example of this would be like you've talked about an issue it's been worked out or you think it's been worked out and then that issue becomes the reason for you breaking up another stupid reason for breaking up would be just like losing feelings it's important to recognize that love isn't just having those strong feelings for someone intensely it's also about just really enjoying being with that person and i think that's important that's all that i wrote for this um there's probably going to be more so let's just say that this is the part one be careful when you're in the dating scene make sure that you have standards and don't compromise them for anybody even if you're lonely thank you so much for watching and good luck on finding your person um all right be nice to people